Um, so, hi to the teachers again. You got me again. Um, I was asked by Shannon to do a speech, and I was really, really excited because I love writing. And then I realised I'd have to speak to people, and kind of went a little downhill from there. And to prove how bad I am at public speaking, I'm reading straight from my speech, so you're not going to get much emotion. So, hi everyone, my name is Raya Pickard, which I don't expect you to remember. I have been a student here at Open Access College for almost three years now. I started Open Access when I was in year 10 and went from homeschooling to doing online schooling here. It was a fairly big change for me, but I was able to do the transition fairly easily thanks to the amazing teachers here at OIC and by developing a schedule which I followed each day to use my time to the best of my advantage. One of the biggest things you'll notice about doing online schooling is that the teachers are unable to see you. Wow, it's online schooling, you could have guessed. They can't read your baffled facial expression and will have no clue if you're struggling unless you communicate that with them. The teachers at OIC are always trying to encourage you to communicate with them. They want you to send them emails, talk in class if you're comfortable doing so, or just send through messages in the chat to them during class. And trust me, we have all been there, where we're nervous to talk or ask a question for fear of being judged. But I can guarantee that someone else in the class is just as baffled and just as nervous as you. Your teacher will be very, very happy to explain the problem to you, and the rest of your class will probably be happy that someone spoke up and asked the question. Plus, it's a great way of wasting the class time, but don't tell the teachers that. <laughs> After being through year 10 and 11, I found that when it came to completing the work, the best way to fight procrastination is to literally just set aside a set time every week or every day. Set an alarm and just work bit by bit at the work. You don't have to and shouldn't complete all your homework in one big hit. It's stressful and our brains aren't supposed to work for longer than 45 minutes without a break. So find out what time period works best for your brain and use it. Another way of getting the work done is by working out when your brain works best. I know for me personally, it's waking up at 6 o'clock in the morning and doing the work early in the morning. For you, it might be 11 o'clock at night. Please do try and get a good sleep. But also, you know your brain best. You have to work with it for your whole life. Because you don't have one. <laughs> Open Access website offers a range of study hacks, and talking to your teacher really does help. After all, they managed to pass their teacher's degree. They must know something because students don't know about studying. For me personally, I found that taking a walk when I needed a break from schoolwork to help me to concentrate on the work. But you'll find your own ways of how you work best as you go along and make sure to experiment with your time. Always remember that your wellbeing leader is there to support your mental health and the school has some great psychologists if you feel like you need someone to support you. If something has happened, your teacher is going to understand and do what they can to support you. Open Access does everything they possibly can to help their students mentally. So again, communicating with someone if you aren't in a great place is the best way to get the support you might need. Now, OAC is an online school, but they also offer a range of in-person events in which you can have the opportunity to meet your teachers and realise they are actually people and very friendly, not just with strangers across the screen. And hey, if you don't want to socialise with people, that's fine. But the in-person events are there and they can be pretty fun and a big help. I personally 100% recommend the Wellbeing Week, which occurs every year. This year, it's supposed to be taking place in year week 11 of this term. <laughs> last term, last year, we were able to do a range of events which boosted students' mental health to the point that some students even wanted to return to face-to-face -face learning. And of course, there are always the online groups like Monday Social, which you can attend, or the school newsletter, because that, which can even go on your resume. So, I have been talking for long enough, and to wrap up, I wish to just say a big thank you for listening to me. <coughs> Not that you really had much of a choice, so I suppose I should actually say thank you for paying attention to me if you did, and if you didn't, well, you can't anymore. I hope your year or years at Open Access are as amazing as mine have been, and never hesitate to reach out to someone if you need or want support. Thank you.